YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gaming here. Welcome back to Horse Racing Manager 2. Uh, as I said, I would uh, be taking a short break from Galbraith 2003 just to get that series caught up to you guys in real time. So in the meantime, we're going to head back to Horse Racing Manager 2. Um, I really can't remember what I was doing last. It's only been two months since I played this game, but a lot has happened in two months. Paradise Toy. I feel like this is a new filly we just recently picked up. Aggressive Coin has been here from the start. Olympic Day Boy, he's been here from the start. And Horo Bebe, it's a one-year-old, I think, that I purchased because I really liked the stats. So, let's see. We are in May of uh, this particular year, which is 2008. We've gone back in time. So, let's go ahead and check out the stable. I'm just going to do a little bit of maintenance just to see if there's anything I need to add. So, all of our staff is pretty set up. Uh, or is, I should say is set up well. We go to facilities and buildings. I know I was working on some upgrades. Um, I don't think I'm in a position to do any upgrades now. I think I should hold on to my money. So actually, we're just not even going to mess with that. Uh, information, business, we'll take a look at this. So um, we earn some money in our bets. Person like your stallion Olympic Day boy to cover his mare, you'll receive a fee. Uh, yeah, hello. Why would I not? <laughs> That's easy money. Olympic Day Boy did win. Hey, it won the Capital Cup, so... Olympic, I think, is uh, doing pretty well here. So we go to stalls. Olympic Day Boy. Let's look at uh, what he's done for us this year so far. Um, three wins, or three first places. Um, two shows, and... Or, I'm all over the place. He's won three times. He's placed twice, and he has a fourth place. So in this game, it shows you top six. So basically what we figured out, or at least what I figured out about Gallup Racer, the most important, I think, assets to your horse for breeding is her top three finishes or top five finishes with earnings. So this game, obviously, it's top six and then probably earnings as well. And then, of course, the different grade of the races. So, um, so yeah, very good stuff here. Now let's see, which jockey should I be using? Gerald, Popovic, Bojan. Okay, it's been different guys. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and just get straight into scheduling some races. Oh, you don't do that here. I apologize. It stalls. And we go to Olympic. His conditioning is at 100, so he should be ready to roll. Um, now, what is his distance? Is it short? Um, yeah, I guess I should look back. So let's see, 1,400, yeah, definitely short. All right, so 1,400 meters, ideally. I could try him out at an 18, but what's the point? Um, I'm looking for a pretty big race to put him in. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the fairgrounds. Or, oh, no, the Belmont, 40,000, two- and three-year-olds. We're definitely doing this, the St. Omer Trophy. We could run him at 14, but what's the point if he can win? If we can win more, he's been on a roll. Gerald's right there, fantastic. So we'll book that. And for aggressive coin and paradise toy, her acceleration is awful, but she has awesome stamina. So let's see what's worked with her. Actually, I kind of want to do things one week at a time here, because I'm slowly getting back into the groove of things. So it's fine if I miss a race here or there. Yeah, we'll advance here. And then get ready for this race. I hope we didn't skip the week. It should be here. Um, yeah, it is. Okay, so we're up in the St. Omer Trophy. It's only a 1,000 meters, so it's basically a sprint. So we have post position four, and uh, we should have pretty good odds here today. I don't know what any of these fools are going to say, but Prediction Magazine actually has us featured down there. Talented, but needs to be kept in check. This trainer and owner are very confident. Could surprise a few people today. They also have us there. Race passion. Willie, okay. So, I am going to bet on myself. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do a solo place on us. I'll do a place and a win, because I think if we do win this, that'll be great. So, I will do... 300, 300, and 400. That'll be all of our betting money. And we'll rock and roll. So we will be racing. And uh, hopefully we can get a win, another win with Olympic. I really do want to uh, advance in this game because I've 
always, always, always failed. It's like probably at year two or year three. I have not gotten a full five years in this game ever since I've had it. Terrible. So that is what this playthrough is going to aim to accomplish. And I think we can get there because I am much more knowledgeable now. I know what to do. Um, and I'm much better at playing the the thoroughbred racing side of this compared to the harness racing. I, I'm still just inherently bad at that unless I'm playing like on easy. And I don't know if anybody would want to watch that as a series. But if you guys would, let me know. Because I totally could bring HRM2 videos back with the harness racing. But I would have to play on like easy. Normal is still quite difficult as well, but I would definitely have to play on easy, so. Um, all right, so easy start here. Now, this is a straight, so I don't, th yeah, this is a straight. We're not gonna be going around any turns, so. Um, I definitely should be working to keep him closer towards the front, but it's fine. We'll have plenty of stamina. We don't have to worry about trying to zig in and out of these horses per se now he is a little bit further back than i would like so let's get him up there but we're saving a lot of stamina that's the thing 500 meters left to go let me see if i can get him going okay get him under the whip once because we have a long way to go very long way to go here with olympic day boys and i'm hoping that we can just kind of just squeeze by the field at the last minute all right, 300 meters left to go. Still plenty of stamina. Get on the whip again. Here comes Olympic Day Boy down the stretch. I may have started a little bit too late and under, underestimated the distance of the field, and I did. Oh, man, that's 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 disappointing. All right, got to get him going sooner. He had plenty of stamina. I just I definitely wanted to keep him closer towards the front. Oh, no. Well, that was an easy loss. That was an easy win that I lost, I should say. We finished seventh, still got $400, whoop de doo But yeah, I underestimated the distance, as I usually seem to do with closers that are too far off, you know? That's why I like racing like near the front, just not having to necessarily be in the lead with my horses. Um, obviously, as you guys have seen from the 2004 series. So, um, Olympic is still in the process of moving up to like a level three horse in here. Um, they're technically called grades, like grade one, grade two, but like, the higher up you go in the grade is repre representative of how much better the horse is. So grade one in here means your horse is only one star like this. Grade three means your horse is like this. It's weird, I know. All right, with Olympic, I want to get him in another race because that was, well, that was awful. We have a chance. We're going to do the same race pretty much. This is the Republican Cup. Interesting. Well, there we go. We're going to get him in another race. That'll be in two weeks' time. So let's actually focus on these other gals we got here. Paradise Toy. All my horses are going to be short distance. I'm not doing the long distance races. They're they're not fun in this game. They really aren't. Um, this is like the only game I will not be doing long distance stuff in. Um, for the most part. Because it's just not enjoyable, unfortunately. So Paradise Toy, she'll be up pretty much at the same week. Possibly in one of the same races or a different race. Actually, you know what? I'm going to race everybody at, at the same event. Like, why not? Owners literally, owners and trainers do that all the time, you know? So, that's what we're going to do with that. Um, training. Okay, so I have work race for aggressive coin. Olympic Day Boy. I wish they would show you the pictures in here, you know? Because unless you know the name, unless you really can put horse and name together you probably are just thinking like i don't really know who these horses are because well we can't see them you know like there's just something back there it, like i said it's so i've talked about it before with this game it's so weird how it digressed in some aspects like it's a newer game from pretty much the same company maybe just a parent's version of it or whatever but they created this game as the successor to final stretch horse racing sim one and then they took out like some pretty nifty features they just made this game obviously look better okay i didn't really I, <laughs> you see it's been a while i didn't think all of my horses would be in the same race i thought it was different races of the same distance which does happen in this game but i just ended up putting all of my horses in the republican cup which i guess isn't a bad idea i suppose that gives us like a really strong chance of winning i'm still gonna ride with olympic day boy and i'm still gonna bet on ourselves uh, whatever happens with the rest of the gals, um, that's on them. Um, so actually, I'm going to bet 700 on myself. And then I am going to do a trifecta between myself, Aggressive Coin, our other filly, who's the six, and 
Paradise Toy is a seven. Wow, we are really close in post position as well. <laughs> It's kind of bittersweet to have all of my current active horses racing in the same race. Well, we actually have to try to win with Olympic Day boys, so we have to make that a priority, and I'm hoping that the gals will be right behind us. But we'll see. But now that I know the distance and how much sooner I need to get started, I will not mess that up again with Olympic. I can, can almost promise you that. Almost promise. Not a full one, but an almost promise. All right, so a better start this time much better start actually and uh you see our other silks boom and boom so we're going to keep olympic much closer to the front again because i failed to do that the last race and that's ultimately what led to uh, our loss now if, i swear if is it me or these horses just they seem to be running much faster but we still have plenty of stamina um we've already covered quite a bit of distance i just feel like they're running kind of hard but um but again, I know I need to get going sooner now, so not even a problem. All right, here we go. Down the stretch. About 600 meters left to go. We're rocking and rolling with Olympic Day boys. We're going to roll past all of these horses because I got speed horses finally. Like, I realized I needed that. I was going to stick to short distance and get sprinters. I'm not seeing my other horses up there yet. I'm not even seeing Aggressive Coin or Paradise Toy on this ticker at the top with the names but that's going to be an easy win for olympic day boys 11 closes in but we're still going to win that by at least solid four lengths and our other two fillies were nowhere to be seen how disappointing but at least we got the win which i said was the priority there he is well olympic day boys he is uh, doing quite well for us here in this game 23,000, yeah. 11th and 14th. Terrible ride from the jockeys. I blame them. I don't even blame my... I don't blame my gals. I blame whoever was riding them. Because we have won with them all. And to finish that badly, like... Even when I messed up a race, I still was like... I still finished 6th or 7th. I didn't finish out of the money. So 9,000. Very nice, very nice. All right. So... Again... I'm going to stick to just doing one race per horse as far as like scheduling because that's what happens when I schedule them all like in the same week it just becomes chaotic or they end up in the same race and I don't want to continue to do that so Olympic's still in really good condition look he's already moving up to a five star horse he could be an eight star horse which is amazing and he also has great stamina 78 speed and 72 stamina so I finally really took my time in this game to look for horses with good speed and stamina. Actually, both of those, because that, that was always... I mean, stamina is definitely, like, my worst trait in horse racing games. Like, I'm really bad. Or not really bad, but I'm not the greatest at managing them. And then maybe in some aspects, I've been really bad. So again, I'm looking for bigger prize money races, because those ultimately are the most important races. Um, we can... 16 at Delaware is a little bit of a push. I don't really... Could do that or could do Aqueduct. Because how much more? So, uh, I'd rather run at 14 at Aqueduct. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll get... Well, I would like to get Gerald. But he's not here. I always get the jockey with the most winnings this year. I figure... Yutake. What does it get Yutake? Interesting uh, full name. But uh, this is all French. So... Yeah. It's French. <laughs> That's really... <laughs> All there is to it. Anyways, we're back with the boy, Olympic Day boy. Post position three, field of 16. Actually going seven furlongs here. And uh, who is the favorite? Uh, they're not showing us any love here today. I think that's a mistake. Uh, I'll do a solo. We are post position three. I'm going to do a solo play. Just play it conservative. I still think we should win, but you never know. Um, yeah. So, again, with this game, the only thing that is a downside is just, like, there's really not a lot of photos. Like, obviously, once you're playing in the race or watching a race, it, it's beautiful. But, like, the menu is kind of boring. You know what I mean? It's kind of plain. Like, you can't see your horses when you're scheduling them in races, which I think is goofy. You could do that in the first game. Um, so there are definitely some aspects of this game that aren't great, considering it should have had all of the features it had in its first game and then included these newer updates. But as always, some game developers decide literally to go backwards. I just don't understand it. 
Like there's something in a game that inherently works well, and then they decide to take it out as they add new, you know, versions of the game. It's like why would you take out something that your players actually appreciated and enjoyed? I swear, I just feel like game developers and studios are doing that more and more these days. Now, granted, this game came out in like 20, 2006, but still, that the, the philosophy hasn't really changed. There are still many developers even today doing the same exact thing, you know, just jumping the price tag on these games, adding a boat crap of DLC, and not really giving us, the gamers, a lot of real replay value for the price that we pay for the game. Like... It's, it's gotten worse today, actually. It was a little bit of a thing back then, but now it's like inherently gotten much worse. Now, we got a long way to go here with Olympics, so I want to get him into striking distance. Okay, so we're going to keep him pushing. May, I got him started a little bit early, but I'm not going to put him under the whip. Um, we were quite a ways back, so I hope he has enough to get to the end. It's going to be close, but... I think if I don't whip, we'll be okay. Now, if a horse comes through with a late surge, we might have to go. But I think we're still okay with Olympic Day. Boy, he's got a lot of stamina. He's a very tough horse. I'll give him one whip just to make sure we get through there. You give him another one. And then we will just get there at the line. Another win for Olympic Day, boys. He is rolling, man. Wins that by easily six lengths. It's exactly what we want. <sighs> This is, I can finally like win in this game because I've actually taken my time to pick like good horses. Most importantly, I've always inherently picked bad horses when I've done playthroughs of this game. And it's like this most simple thing. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so I have no idea what was going on in my mind. You know, clearly I had no idea. So there's another win for Olympic Day Boy. Uh, let's get one of the fillies into some racing here. Um, somebody wants to leave, as always, somebody's threatening to leave. Like, I pay my employees a lot, I pay my staff a lot, and I'm constantly giving them raises. Not like a 1.5% raise and act like I've done the greatest thing like most employers do today. I am giving them, like, multiple raises a year and good raises. Um, so Olympic is not in good shape, so we'll rest them for a bit as we should. Iona, I swear she's the one that always wants to, always wants to leave. Like, why are you even here? Okay, I'm just, I mean, can I, can I increase? Oh, wait, I think I have to do it in here, right? Um, race salary, yes, fine, like, I'm, t we have the money, it's not even a big deal, but, like, my goodness, just can't be asking for raises every month, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Give it just a little bit of time. Oh, my goodness, anywho's. Oh, uh, let's race with Paradise Toy. Is, uh, she's the newest filly, three-year-old. 73 speed and 93 stamina. Like I said, I actually took my time. Now, aggressive coin stamina isn't good, but her speed is really hot. And Olympic, his stamina is 72, so it's pretty solid, especially with the 78 speed. I never picked horses like these when I first started playing this game. Like, it, I couldn't even tell you guys why I didn't or did do that. Um, So training just continued to keep her just kind of working. Uh, as far as a race is concerned, she, we could race her in this flat in Delaware right now. Actually, we'll do that. I think that's a good race for her. And we'll get Gerald's, because Gerald has been doing very well for us this season. So, we'll get that going, and we'll make it work. So, short field of 11, fortunately. We're going 1,600 meters, 8 furlongs. Uh, nobody's really giving us any love. That's not surprising. We're expected to finish where? Mm, we're expected to finish like 7th. Not even that far. Okay, whatever. Uh, we are number 6. We'll do a solo bet again. Play a conservative. And let's see what we do. So I really do want to see where this game takes you once you get to like the really big races i just want to see what opens up um and just kind of how things go if it's even worth playing once you get to that point because you know certain games they just stop like there's really nothing else for you to do once you get to like that pinnacle 
I like games that have replay value where even if you get to like the top point in the game, there's still other stuff you can do on the side that still gives you, um, you know, a lot of enjoyment. But it's just like just beating a game and then you're done with it. I, I don't really like those games because I'm just like, well, what's the point in putting all this time into it? I'd rather play a game that still has replay value even after you've achieved like the main goal. I, I think that as a gamer myself is what I really appreciate. Like most of my favorite games are games that have long term replay value. Um, ultimately, if it doesn't have it, then I'll just get bored after I beat it because there's like nothing to do after that. And again, the good thing about uh, Olympic in this game, um, with him and his speed and his stamina, uh, we can sit at the back for quite a bit, and I can save some ground. I probably could run him closer to the front, but he has such great closing speed. I don't really think it's necessary. Um, now, his acceleration isn't great. Like It's always hard to get out of the gates with him. Um, sometimes he'll break better than others, but, you know. That's that's about a Olympic Day boy, but here we are with the lovely lady, Paradise Toy, and um, she's pretty similar actually. Everything I said about Olympic pretty much works for her, who we're racing on right now. Like, she doesn't get out well. I think she gets out worse than Olympic, but like we can still essentially have her in the back, preserve a lot of stamina, and then go on a really good run, you know, in, in, into the stretch. So, again, she's challenging. She's challenging. There she is, number six, Paradise Toy. The seven is going to get smoked by us. I'm not going to go on the whip yet. I think we have plenty. There's about 250 meters left to go. I think the seven is trying. The seven is hanging on there. But, no, Paradise Toy, she's just absolutely going to blow this field away. Sweepity sweep. Goodbye, peepity peep. And she wins by another easy five or six lengths. It's as easy as that. Let's go, man. Let's go. The horses are doing as I want. Now, keep in mind, we're racing against very easy competition right now, hence why we're kind of winning most of these races. Uh, it will get much tougher, I know, once we get to the higher level races and horses. We really haven't raced against many of them yet, so this is all pretty standard. And, of course, um, the thoroughbred... Um, option of this game is not as difficult as like a gallop racer i think it's still much easier but you do have to have the right horse to win in this game if you don't you're just going to struggle like all the time it's, it's not enjoyable that's why i've been off and on paradise toy also that race moves are up to five stars but again that's the reason why i've been off and on um, because again in the past i didn't know what i was doing so i was picking awful horses and i was just making my time just like that much more you know unenjoyable just based off of my lack of awareness and trying to find the right horses that can actually work in this game. You know, like obviously the horses I have right now, would they be good for distance? Possibly. I'm sure they probably could run some distances, but um, their speed alone is what makes me want to put them in, in sprinting races, obviously. And like I said, the distance races are just boring in this game. Like I just will not do them. Let's give Edwin Momas a chance. He's actually the second best jockey this year, so kind of hop around. Granted, I think everybody's pretty well, especially since we're racing. It's it's more so our ability than the actual AI jockey. Like, if we weren't racing ourselves, like I'm doing, then the skill of the jockey would be kind of taken into consideration. But since I'm controlling it, it's probably not even that much of a difference. Uh, I still want to continue to stack our money up for more uh, facility upgrades. Field of 16 here, the Sparrows Cup. Seven furlongs, 1,400 meters, again. Aggressive coin, do we have any love? No love from the Prediction Mag. No love from the races. No love from Jockey Daily. Race Passion says, we love you, Horse Racing Gamer. We love you, Eric. I appreciate that, thank you. And the Willie also says, we love you, Eric. We love you, we love your filly, Aggressive Coin. She's amazing. Well, thank you, Racing Passion and the Willy. It's so nice of you guys to actually have some faith in us, unlike the rest of the markets. So, yeah, we're expected to finish fifth. I'm going to keep doing the same thing. Um, actually, you know what? I'm actually going to place a full... Well, mm, aggressive coin. Actually, no, we just won with her, right? No, I raced Paradise Toy. 
Aggressive Coin has less stamina, so I'm just going to play it safe and do a solo with her. I was going to do a full win, but I haven't raced with her in a bit, so I just want to be conservative for this one. Figure her style out again. All my horses are pretty similar. Like, they all have really high speed and above average to really good stamina. So, most of them do typically run the same, but there's still a little bit of a difference in them, especially depending on how fast they get out the uh, the gate, how fast they can get up the top speed. There's still some differences. See? Now, aggressive coin, she gets out the gate much better for me normally. So, that's kind of the differences I'm talking about. The other two, they're, they're just really kind of slow. So... She gets out well here, and uh, I don't mind running her closer toward the front, again, because she gets out pretty quickly. That's always the determining factor for me, usually. Like, if a horse gets out well, if you can, send them to the front, you know what I mean? But if not, then it's better just to settle them in if they're okay with that. So, um, we're tucked inside. We're saving plenty of ground. We're not hitting, getting any of the, uh, you know, the wind to hit us. Um, usually as long as you have a horse to the outside of you, then you're good. Now I did. We don't now. We're kind of tucked back in. I just wanted to save ground. I really do. Uh, there's really no reason for us to be any further than we are. We have plenty of stamina left to go. Aggressive coin. The beautiful fella she is. Look at the gallop. Okay, she's moving. We're going to move. Get our move going right now. It's going to be a, a late outside move because the inside is just not clear. Not going to go into the whip yet. She has a lot of late closing speed. We're going to send her to the front here. It's like clockwork, man. I swear. I just have three horses with like all a pretty similar running style, again, for the most part, despite some of the differences. But aggressive coin. She is absolutely smoked to this field. Not even close. But again, these are like easy races with easy horses. We're not really racing against competition yet. But seriously, she smokes them. She smokes the field by more than 10 lengths. <laughs> Biggest win of the day. Aggressive coin. What a gal. Holy cannolis. Talk about tunnel vision and just sending it. She absolutely lets it rip. And there she is. Aggressive coin to win the Sparrows Cup. Again, pretty easy race. Not a lot of tough horses in that field. Horse racing game of ranch continues to make the wins happen. We continue to do. All right. May do another race here. Um, the way my recording works for some of these games, it just records the videos in like the biggest file size. I'm not even kidding. Like one video that's 20 minutes will literally be like 100 gigs. Now I have the space, but I have to be diligent in obviously deleting videos once I actually upload them to YouTube. Like once they're on my computer, I just have to get rid of them completely. So I make a regular habit of that and it's fine, but it's like it's only with certain games and this is one of those games and I just can't figure it out and I've just given up. I'm just I just accept that at twenty minute videos are gonna be like a hundred gigabytes. Crazy stuff, I know. Um so let's get in one more race here. Um fantastic time with these horses man really 87 speed that's why she was able to win that race by more than 10 lanes she is fast she's actually the fastest that we got and her stamina is still okay at 55 but she's still a pretty solid horse all around she's won 39,000 this year paradise toys already won 50 no, uh, 51,000 and olympic day boys already won 73,000 and they're all three years old man um helvetia queen age uh she's only won 4,000 we just used her for breeding uh instantly and she will give birth to our foal, I think, next year. And then we picked up a one-year-old. But man, we have a lot of great horses right now that I think are going to give us some even better horses with the breeding. So I'm excited because I've never gotten that far in this game to actually breed horses and race them on track. I have failed every single time. So let's, again, get another race with Olympic Day Boy. Hopefully a big one. Um, yeah, 3,300 meters. Like, who wants to run that, bro? <laughs> like, nobody. So, Olympic... Uh, actually, what is his conditioning? He's at 99. He's almost back to 100. Uh, let's run him this week. We can... St. John's, just low-tier races, but it's the best we got. Run him here at the Marcena Grand Prix. Edwin Momas. I think that's who we... Uh, picked when we just won that last race again. I'm controlling it. It probably really doesn't even matter all that much, but for the sake of the playthrough, I think it does. So we'll advance two weeks, and we'll get to our last race. 
Yeah, I, I'm really curious how this will play out once we get to the higher levels, higher competition, once we can actually start to race our created horses. Uh, the lack of tack in this game is disappointing as well. Like, I wish more of these games had options like that. But Gallop Racer is really, like, the best. Gallop Racer and Champion Horse Racing. Rival Stars is getting better. Um, those games are pretty solid, obviously, with their tack options. But here, I don't even know if you can do anything. Anyway, it's a field of 17. We have post position 9. We're running 1,600 meters. Oh, uh, does anybody have faith in us? The races do have faith in Olympic today, as they should. He's won, like, the last three straight. The Willie always has faith in us. Like, I don't know who's at the Willie, but clearly I have a secret admirer. And whomever they are, I thank you so much. You are awesome. You are awesome. Not me, but you. <sighs> well, we're number nine here. Uh, I'm going to do a win bet because I think we're on a roll. And I would like to get some more money. So, win bet on us with Olympic Day Boy. Again, these are easy races with an easy field. And, again, it is easier in this game. At least for the, again, the thoroughbred racing. The harness racing is it's really, like, to enjoy this game and I think to win. You have to play it on normal or easy. Hard is just, hard is hard. Even with the updates that uh, some people in the community have made. It's just still inherently difficult. And it's not any of the... Uh, modders or the people in the community's fault it's the original developers fault for not programming the harness racing properly which is such a shame because we just don't have like any games and this one by far is definitely the best oh i didn't want to click that what did i oh well here we go slow start as always i didn't even mean to like click on the eyelash i don't know why i did that so that totally delayed our start, but we're going to get pair. No, we're on Olympic. We're going to get Olympic to the front. But like I said, he gets out terribly anyways. That's just that's his downside. Um, like I said, the Phillies, I think, both get out better than he does. So that's why we're always kind of fighting from the back and having to come from the back as far as our spurts because, like, he just can't get out the gates well. He makes up for it in the stretch, but, you know, sometimes it's, it's a little bit challenging. So we're saving ground right now. I'm just going to keep him right here. It's fine. That's usually how we have to run him because he's a closer. Now, I could send him to the front, but um, I don't really like to do that. But I might give it a shot because I think his stamina is 72. It just seems like he tires out more quickly in the stretch, you know? That's kind of what I've been noticing. So that's why. It's, and it's weird. His stamina is much higher than one of our other fillies. So it doesn't really make sense. But it could be how I'm running him sometimes. So... Like, look, he like his stamina is over halfway. Like, he has more than 50% left, and we're already over 50% of the race done. But he still seems to tire out quicker. So give him another check. Okay, he should be good now. So we're going to get him on a run. Get him on a run. Not going to put him under the whip yet, because that definitely seems to tire him out. We're going to move the ball over to the green one. Now let's see what he can do. Olympic Day boys, down the stretch we come. He's going to be challenging on the outside. He still has plenty of stamina left to go. You see, this is a tough race. This this uh, 8 horse, or 14, whatever number that is, I can't really tell. He's not giving up. Olympic, he's still driving. He's still driving. He's going to get past the horse. We have the 15 on the inside. This is actually a close race. And we just get there at the wire with Olympic Day. Boys, wow. I'm talking about, oh, easy races. That was actually tough. Like, I really had to focus and kind of move that accordingly because uh, if i didn't manage his stamina properly in the beginning of that race he wouldn't have made it wow that was a really tough marcina grand prix olympic day boys just winning a couple of tenths of a second there i mean the top all three of us at the top separated by i mean 15 ten, not even <laughs> wow that's that's amazing great finish there for olympic I, I really didn't know if i was going to get there in time i'm mean, being completely honest like those the 14 and the 15 if that's where they were no that was the um the 8 and the 15 uh, excuse me they really were like not going away especially that eight sister aussie rolled up on her thought i was just gonna blow past her and like no she really kicked in and kept going so that's when I had to make Olympic respond and then Jedi Grand Baby comes up out of nowhere on the inside is the 15. Like talk about a really good ending to that race. And like I said that was actually tough. Like I that was not an easy win. I really thought I could have lost that. I thought maybe Olympic was going to cap out. Now 
the claiming stuff in this game is is an absolute monstrosity because Olympic Day Boy has like won five races in a row now, or at least four, and the minimum offer so far right now is three k. And I granted some of these horses, like Sister Aussie, rated higher, of course. Jedi Grand Baby even rated higher. Like none of these horses are better than me. Better than Olympic Day Boy, I should say. It's about the horse, not me. Um, granted, I did like that finish from both Sister Aussie and Jedi Grand Baby, but I don't need more horses. Like I really don't. Um, so I bid twenty thousand for Beauty's Asian that came in fourth, and then twenty eight k for Rapid Illusion that didn't even finish in the top five. What is the logic in this game? <laughs> It doesn't even make sense. It really doesn't. <laughs> like, I think as Olympic Day boy, we probably have more earnings this year than all of those horses. So, makes no sense. Nonetheless, it's another win. He moves up to six stars. He is just grinding. Now, I'm not going to do another race, but I am curious when we're going to get to, like, the really, really, really big races. Like, I wonder how far he has to go. And I think these stars have to be shaded yellow completely for him to, like, move up to that level. Since they're still not completely shaded yellow, I think he's still considered, like, a, a level one horse or whatever. I think they all have to be. Like, Paradise Toy, I think when we enter her in races, I felt like we had better races with her, but maybe not. Hurdles, yuck. Hurdles, yuck. September 42,000. I'm going to see if Olympic has those same races, because if he does... Okay, they have they have some of the same races on the same weekends, and sometimes not. Huh, interesting. I'm just looking for the really big races with like the really big prize pools. Like 40k is not the max in this game. I just want to see how far, but it's kind of more or less the same. I'm seeing like Fairplex Park seems to be the biggest with like 40k, but like nothing else is even close. Gulfstream. I wonder if that is the biggest. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Yeah, there's like nothing. I'm, you know. It's like when you go to spectate these races, then the prize money actually says it's like a million. That's why it's like confusing. It's like if you spectate, it's a million. If you're racing, then it's like, yeah, I mean, what? 4% of that? Yeah, okay. Interesting. Um, Let me see. I always forget how to go to the races or weekend races, yeah. So now, like, these races are all, like, short. They're all low for the most part. But I swear to you, there are some races that pop up with, like, over 40K. 46 is about the highest. And, like, there are... I'm very curious if hurdles are, like, the only, like, high prize races. That would really be annoying because the hurdles is not enjoyable for me in this game. I don't... I'm not really into it, I guess, as a, a version of horse racing in general, but I, I think it's a snooze fest in this game. Like, you you know, I'm sure if you actually like it in real life, then it's probably more enjoyable to just kind of sit through. But, like, if you're really trying to play it, it I, I can't imagine it would be that enjoyable. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any bigger prize pulls. I swear I've seen them in here. I've seen, okay, like, something like this. The Arlington, the Haskell Invitational. Like, this race doesn't even pop up for us. But you know what? I want to go to it because I'm very curious, like, how crazy those horses look. But that's what I'm talking about. Like, 1,000 prize money. Um, so hopefully we can see what this field looks like. When is the race? Did I not go to the race? Yes. Do I, I? This game is so confusing. Like, do I have to go into my diary to attend the race? Somebody else wants to have Olympic... I mean, yes, free money. Thank you. Olympic can cover however many folds you guys want. Okay, so I thought I went to that race. I, ugh, whatever. Here we go. So now we're here. Now this race... The prize money here says 500k. This is what I mean. Like, the normal races my horses are entered into. This doesn't pop up. And clearly we're not there yet. And yeah, all these horses are legitimately like six stars yellow and higher. So, Okay. So, so that's actually exciting for me to know. Like, we can get to this point with these huge races with these huge payouts. But we literally have to have our horse shaded at the minimum, like, six stars. Like, six yellow stars. Not one yellow star and five white stars. It's got to be a full six. Now, granted, one another thing about this game is these horses' stats sometimes don't make sense either. Like, 
there'll be a horse at this level with nine stamina and they're running 2,000 meters so close to 10 for like what doesn't even make sense it just you just have to ignore it now career earnings 119,000 like Olympic Day Boys is already 30,000 underneath that in a year 4k 1 million okay 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 I hear you Rasmus Court okay I see you 1 million in earnings 1.3 million okay I hear you River de la Broyer, I, I I hear you. Another 1.3 million career earnings. Okay, so yes, these are the horses I want to race against. This is the pinnacle. Now, are we gonna watch this race? I mean, I guess we can. Like, why not? Um, who am I gonna bet on? I'm gonna bet on. I'm gonna bet on the. I, I kind of like the name Rasmus Court, but something tells me this horse may not win. Who was I looking at that had nine stamina? I want to bet on that fool. Validano, yeah. I, I'm going to make a ridiculous bet. Oh, is that horse really, really the long shot? Okay, no. I'm actually going to bet on Rasmus Court. Ignore everything I said. I'm actually just going to do a place for Rasmus Court. Just finish in the top three. I'll do... F you know what? We have enough. I, I can waste a thousand. It's fine. It's like our celebration weekend, so why not? Yeah, uh, Validano, bad odds. I was going to... I li literally was going to bet on that horse because I had bad stamina. I figured the odds were going to be better, but of course, when things when I want things not to make sense, then they make sense. Like that, pff, I swear to you, I can't even make this stuff up. This is just what I experience when I game. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> all right, look at all these horses that we apparently are not on the level of yet. And okay, fair enough, but we will get there. Cannot wait to be at this level to win these races. That'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. Oh, yes. Perfect camera angle, Horse Racing Manager 2. I get what they're trying to do. Kentucky Derby has that similar angle before it starts. But, like, you don't... This this is... No. I, what? We can't even see. <laughs> Look at the awesome buses in the background. Or the RVs. <laughs> the duplicated RVs. Oh, I hate this camera angle so much. What? This... You just feel like you're those rabbits on the rails at, like, the Greyhound tracks. Like, this is... Uh, thank you. My goodness. <laughs> I'm just making fun of this game. <laughs> I do enjoy this game, but I have to poke fun at it because there's just there's such glaring, just glaring, just kind of obvious issues. But I think you know, in hindsight, I I obviously know it was a small French company, basically company based in France, and probably small budget, hence why they discontinued this game and didn't make any new ones. I get it, but I'm just being funny. It's a game anyways. I think all games should allow for some c comedic relief because, I mean, it's a video game for crying out loud. It's animated things moving on the screen, <laughs> you know. <laughs> ah, uh, who did I bet on? Rasmus Court. Well, the full, the, the, the fourth, okay, the horse that's in third, Valid Dano, um, if I could get to it. Nope, I don't want to slow it down. Okay, Valid Dano, this horse right actually here with the blue silks towards the front. Or back here. The 14, actually. That's the horse I was going to bet on with, like, the 9 stamina. Running at the front. Watch that horse win. I, I will be pretty... I'll be pre pretty cheesed, okay? Pretty cheesed. I really would be. Because that would be like, wow. Of course, my luck in a game. What's new? Okay, Rasmus Court. I forgot, He was number 10, right? I'm not seeing this full anywhere. So, uh, don't mess with my money. Okay, there we go. There's Rasmus. Oh, the gray. Nice. I didn't. I wouldn't know if he was a gray. You can't see until you get into a race. So, I think we're on around the final stretch here. And we're on to the final stretch. Look at this race. The seven's going to go by. That is Celsa Panache. Rasmus Court is still not in the top five yet. He's Oh, the finish line's right here. Rasmus Court, as always, playing with my money. But the 12 is going to fight back. Poker Rose, did she go gate to wire? Did Poker Rose go gate to wire and win that race? And Rasmus Court, you fool. You barely finished in the money. Wow. What a finish. That was actually a pretty enjoyable race to watch and spectate. And I always love that camera angle to watch all the horses go through. Wow, what a race. That was actually pretty exciting. Like, again, I cannot wait to actually be at this level with these horses. You know what I mean? Yeah, Rasmus finished where? Sixth? Oh, boo. You won 30K. Uh, Validano still finished fifth. Wow. The horse with, like, nine stamina still finishes fifth and wins 50000 for owner and trainer. Amazing stuff, man. We didn't win any bets, but that was still enjoyable to watch. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for today's episode of Horse Racing Manager 2. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. If anybody wants to acquire this game, description box below. 
as always. And um, I actually, I think for our first foal, once it's born, I will use one of your names. So whatever name you guys would want, I don't know how I'm going to pick it. It's probably just going to be random wheel generator just to make it uh, fair. Let me know what the name of the first foal should be if I can change it. I don't know if I can. I hope I can. But again, I haven't really done breeding in this game. I'm assuming I'll be able to change or make a custom name. I don't know if that's the case. It could just give us a randomly automated, uh, auto-generated name that's in French. I, I don't know. But on the positive case scenario of it allowing us to change the name, what name should it be? Let me know in the comment section below. And then once we get to that point, I will literally decide with a random wheel generator. That way it is all fair because you all have great names for horses. So it's really always hard for me to pick. So that's what we'll do. But until next time, Horse Racing Gamer signing out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. I shall see you later. And goodbye.